59 and 60 so we're about uh, I'd say we're probably about one mile per hour off now versus four from before All right, welcome back party people. Today, we're gonna to try to connect to the OBD2 port on our Ford Transit van and hopefully be able to set some body control parameters that will make our speedometer display more accurately because we did change out for a larger overall tire and wheel height package back in March when we, of last year when we purchased this van. So we have a larger circumference tire and therefore our speedometer reads about somewhere between eight and 10% off. So what I wanna do is try to resolve that and I've heard through Ford Transit USA forums that the latest version of Forescan may have that, may have that capability. So I did wanna check that out. First, let's go inside and talk a little bit about Forescan and make sure that we have updated to the latest version to get that functionality and capability. Then we'll come back out, we'll plug into our port and we'll make some runs and see if there's some parameters we can change and tune inside the vehicle and make a couple of test runs just to verify that we actually made a change. If you're not familiar with Forescan, it's a free application to read clear diagnostic codes and set parameters uh, through your onboard diagnostic port in your vehicle. You must have an adapter to plug into the OBD port and I have a Wi-Fi adapter that I use. The other piece of information I'll share with you, even though it's free to read and reset some of the codes, it is not free to actually set parameters. So you need a license and you need to be on the Windows platform with the Windows software. Otherwise, the Android and the iOS software is a light version and it's not, it doesn't have the capability to actually set parameters. I fortunately have a Wi-Fi OBD2 reader. I have the Forescan software and a license that I had purchased earlier last year when I actually purchased the, the van. So I uh, have upgraded to the latest beta release. If you go to products here, you'll see that uh, there is a beta release for Windows here 2.3.29 as well as some release notes and change history down here if you're interested. It does point out there are some Ford Transit body control module updates. So I'm hoping uh, that will help us out. All right, so I just started the Forescan application on my Windows laptop, and uh, the, the initial screen here, uh, you'll notice there's not a whole lot that you can do without being connected to the ODB port of your vehicle. But if you do go down and click on the steering wheel here on the left, you'll notice you get some important information. For example, I am on the 2.3.29 beta version of this software, which is the latest beta code that has more parameters for the Ford Transit, according to uh, some of the forum discussion. You can see that the software is for the Ford conglomerate, basically Ford, Mazda, Mercury, Mercury Lincoln vehicles, hence the name for scan. And you can see that I have an extended license. That's important because you are going to need the extended license in order to set any parameters in the software. All right, so I have my Windows laptop. I have an iPad in case I need to browse some things on the web. And then also I have one of the Forescan recommended Wi-Fi OBD2 readers here. So we should be good to go to take all of this in our van with us and start making some changes. So just under steering wheel to the left side is the access port for the OBD2. And I'm just going to plug our Wi-Fi adapter in to the socket here. Like such. Alright, so I've got my Wi-Fi open here. I'm about to connect to the Wi-Fi network. As you can see, it's already connected to the OBD2 Wi-Fi signal. So now we're just going to connect. I don't have the key in the ignition at the moment. All right, now that we've connected, I'm gonna go to our PIDs. All right, and we scroll down and it looks like we've got something in there for tire circumference. So let's just take a peek at what we have here. So we've got all kinds of rolling tire circumferences there. Set to 2160 currently. All right, so we have our GPS app running on our phone here and uh, we've got our digital speedometer and then also our analog speedometer over there so we're going to compare these two we're going to do a run up to 60 and then compare the two values and then we'll come back and make changes and uh, see how much closer we get all right making a run here so 56 and 52 so we're four miles per hour off 
All right, we're back home. Got my Forescan app up. All right, I've got the laptop down here trying to uh, minimize the shadows, but uh, we're connected back to our system here. I'm just going to go to configuration once again. We'll do body control central configuration there. Hit OK. And it downloads a secondary bootloader. And it's going through that process at the moment. Please turn the ignition off. I do have the ignition off. See, tire dimension. What do we have in this list here? So we don't have a 245.75, which is what we have on this vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to use customer tire dimension. Click checkbox. We're going to go to tire circumference. And it doesn't look like you can actually enter anything in here so you got to pick one so we're going to try to pick the biggest one they have so we are 245 by 75 r16 all right now just have a uh, tire circumference calculator so i'll put in 245 75 r16 here and we get 2431 it looks like 2260 is the biggest they have in here so that'll help us a little bit it won't get us exactly where we need to go so i'm just going to choose that click ok write it so you can see our values there we're changing from 2160 to 2260 custom tire dimension click ok turn ignition on all right and then we'll click ok box program successfully please cycle ignition off then back on all right so let's do that there we go off Okay, here and there we go now let's go check our values 2260 use custom so we're good to go so let's uh, take it back out on the road and see if it made a difference so that's interesting so after uh, I didn't notice if this if it did this after I made the change or when this but the check engine light came on all right I just decided to uh, look at the code before I actually hit it out on the road so it's a P2610 uh, ECM PCM engine off timer performance DTC maturing all right so resetting the uh, DTC took care of that so no mill light now so let's go out for our test got our GPS app running there and we'll see how far it's off now after the changes so we're pretty close now we saw 58 and 58 59 59 and 60 so we're about uh, I'd say we're probably about one mile per hour off now versus four from before so that's definitely a an improvement so I'm pretty excited about that that's probably good enough not to uh, to get a ticket by mistake yeah so 52 53 54 53 all right, I'm back from our little test drive there. So you saw the results. So a marked improvement, not exact yet. Maybe in the future, Ford will allow us to have a larger circumference or actually enter a custom value to a degree. I don't know the limitations of the system, but it is what it is. So it did improve. We're one to two mile per hour off now versus four, four and a half mile per hour before. All right, two things I wanna mention that may not have been apparent while watching this video. Number one, when I first, uh, after I upgraded the Forescan software on my laptop and connected to the OBD2 port for the first time, the, uh, the new version of software did want to download something from the internet. And all I had was a Wi-Fi adapter and that Wi-Fi adapter was already connected to the OBD2 port. So I just run an ethernet connection to the ethernet port in my garage. And so I had two connections there, one to get internet connectivity and the other to talk to the Wi-Fi network on the OBD2 port. So keep that in mind too. And also number two, I did receive a DTC code um, after setting the new tire circumference, but I went back into Forescan, I reset that and the code did not come back up. So keep those things in mind. All right, party people, hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the link with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you click that post notification bell. And till next time, scale up and ride, van up and go.